Hi, Cider. So I think I figured out how to um, connect nodes within Mininet to nodes outside of Mininet and vice versa. So the first thing I found that I'm going to show you is this post over here, how I found it. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. You can see a bunch of tabs. So I was looking around and here this guy describes um, how to connect nodes from within Mininet to nodes outside of Mininet, um, either through LAN or using a bridge adapter um, or a bridge network. So I tried this in VirtualBox and it doesn't work, um, but as I said, VMware works a little bit better as far as the network setup, so I was able to get it to work there, okay? So what I did, um, is I installed VMware um, and I installed Mininet. So if you start VMware, that's so easy. And then you can go to, uh, let's see, how did I do it? Um, I think I did went to, sorry, nope, not this. I went to open and then I found the, the VM for Mininet and downloads and I installed it and all that stuff. Okay, so that's not the hard part, um, but we do have the Mininet VM. So what I did then is that I went to, to settings. Um, it just had this one NAT adapter. And what I did is I clicked add and then I added a new network adapter, um, which is now adapter two. And I set that to be a bridge connection. Okay, so we have a NAT. I forget if I had to change this adapter to NAT, uh, I might have, but anyway, now it's NAT um, and I changed this to bridge. Okay, so that's as far as Mininet setup here. What I then had to do is to set up port forwarding such that I could SSH into Mininet. So I went to edit, uh, virtual network editor, um, and here, Okay, and here um, I found my NAT adapter. Okay, so it happens to be VMS8. Um, and I had to go to NAT settings. Okay, and I had to set up this port forwarding. Okay, so from port 222 to port 22. Now, the tricky part is that we have the gateway here, but we don't know what the actual virtual machine IP address is. So to get that, I first had to start the actual machine. Um, so let's wait for a second until that happens. Okay, and from here I can go to Mininet. Mininet, I'm in, I have config. Um, and what we see is that I have on ETH zero, um, uh, the IP address of 172.16.68.128. Okay, so then I go here to my virtual network editor. And I s go to NAT, I change NAT settings. And now I enter um, dot .128 here. Um, and I forward, forward from host port 2222 to virtual machine port 222. Okay. Um, all right. From here, you also notice that our bridge adapter is on VM net zero. Okay. So we'll come back to that in a second. Okay. So from here, I can then go to my terminal. Uh, not this terminal. So I go to my terminal um, and now I can SSH to Mininet. So that X to port 222 uh, to local host. So that's the post fo port forwarding Mininet and I'm in. Okay. So good. From here, um, I'm going to set up a new, um, a new network, uh, which is going to be a Mininet. Examples and I already called it 
my query bridge.py. Okay, so in this network, to set up this network, I basically go back to the site and I copy and paste this code from here into here and the only change that I make is I'm going to set this here to ETH1 because ETH1 is my bridged connector okay so this guy here says ETH2 in his setup but we want to change it to ETH1 okay so that's my um, that's my network setup everything else is the same um, and if you look at I have config for this I'm sorry um, I have config all, you'll see that ETH1 is in fact that bridge connector. So we have um, dot 128 on ETH0 and ETH1 doesn't have an IP address because that's the bridge connector. Okay, so now what we need is to basically run this thing like this, pseudo Python and then you, and then you run that Python code. Okay, so what you get here is this, and now if you switch to VMware, you would get an error here, okay? And that error um, says that basically, actually, let me just show you what this error looks like. Ah. Okay, so let me um, exit this and exit that, um, and you'll see what happens here. So. So basically, the original, the original setup for the internet connections is, is here um, for the for the bridged virtual connections. And what I'm going to do here is to reset it to the original settings, um, which is shmod one to all minus zero. and we'll add user okay so if you look at the virtual connections they look like this just user permissions okay um, if you have that okay and you stop this and you run it so basically if you did this this is like you just set up the mini net you didn't change the permissions of the connections um, we're just starting uh, mini net and then when it starts we're going to to log into it okay so at this point I'm going to start that network that I set up Okay, and what you see here is this error, okay? And it says virtual machines operating system has attempted to enable promiscuous mode on adapter Ethernet, Ethernet one. This is not allowed for security reasons, etc. And so we're going to go to here, okay? So if I go here, it basically redirects me to this article, um, 287, which, I have opened here already. Okay, so what this tells you is how to set up um, promiscuous mode on these adapters. Okay, and so I'm going to go okay. Um, exit this, exit that. Shut down this. Okay. So then what this tells you to do is you can read through this, but basically we need to set the promiscuous mode on this interface, VMNet0. The way we know that VMNet0 is the interface we're interested in is because that is the bridge interface that we set up here. So we go to the network editor. Um, okay, you'll see that VMNet0 is the bridge is the bridge network. Okay, so it just happens to be that that is the interface we need, which is the same interface that's listed on this website. Okay, so um, what I'm basically going to do is to set change the permissions here. So right now, if you look at 
um, if you look at the permissions on these virtual interfaces, you can only the user can write them. Um, we can, and we want all of anybody to be able to write to those interfaces to be permissible. So, um, okay. What I'll say is I want everybody to be allowed to read write to VM node zero. And then you can see that that has changed and now we have read write permissions on VM node zero. Okay. So we go back to VM where and we start. we're in um, we start the bridge and now we don't get an error boom okay we're in so now we can say um, h1 ping google.com so initially this is a little scary because we don't get anything but then you'll see that it did the DNS resolution correctly because we get the IP address here and from there on it starts pinging. Okay, so we can stop it. All right, so we can enter the outside world. What's cooler though is that now we can also ping this H1 mininet. So the way to find its IP address is um, you get the IF config on it and you see that the IP address is this, right, which is the IP address that's assigned by my local router. Okay, so I'm going to copy that um, and then go to uh, my other window, which is basically this machine. And here we can ping this thing. Oops, skip one of them. And boom, so we're pinging basically H1. So that's fantastic. Okay. Um, and if you look at the IF config of this machine, uh, the wireless interface, which is what I'm on, is over here. Okay, so I can copy that, switch back into my mini net and say H1 ping this fella. Boom, we're pinging. Okay, so you can, so from H1 you can ping the actual machine that this is running on and anything in the internet. And then from this machine, you can ping H1. Um, is there H2? Not in this setup right now, but that doesn't matter. You can you can change that. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Um, if you want to set up a different network, okay, what you can do is go to um, this example file that you've, that you've cut and pasted here. Um, Okay, and you can see that here we're just adding one host, um, right? But you can add more hosts and you can set up stuff between them. This is basically following normal uh, tutorials for Mininet. So you can figure that part out. All right, um, have fun. Hopefully um, you'll get an unlocked port soon enough and you can start running this on your own. Um, and that should move us forward, okay?